Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning. We have a big show lined up. Some special guests here, but first, let's take a look at our weather brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Group Pollard and Hardworking Crew. Taking care of our everyday comfort needs. High today, 81, low 73. Water temperature at the end of the pier, 81.5. So let's round it up to 82 degrees at the end of the pier. It's been pretty steady for about the past week. I want to thank the Bill and Bill show yesterday. Bill Allen and uh, Bill Seals taking care of, uh, while we were out of town, taking care of business, and I appreciate them coming on. I could always count on them. Let's move on with our weather. The river readings brought to us by Panama City, Coca-Cola. We're looking at the Apalachicola of Blunstown is 8.3. It's looking pretty good right now. Got a little bit of rise to it, and it's off to Hatchet Caraville. After the weekend rain, it's sort of going down a little bit. It's reading this morning in Caraville is 7.3. The tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Good, strong tides this weekend. Today's uh, high tide is right in the middle of the day, 12.15. It's going out to about... 12 o'clock, right around uh, midnight tonight. So good, strong tides. The wind will be coming out at the northeast at about 10. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back with our guest. Okay, welcome back, folks, and welcome to our special guest this morning, Kristen Chisholm Williams. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank and our daughter, Caroline. Now, these are special guests of mine because the outdoors is a big part of their life, so I, I'm going to let them talk a little bit, tell us who they are, and then we're going to tell you the connection we've had for a long time. So, Kristen, you go first. Well, I am a mom. I have three small children who love the outdoors. I help my husband run our site work company, um, and this is Caroline. <laughs> and Caroline, where do you go to school? North Bay Haven. North Bay Haven. Talk loud now. We don't look like you're in the back of the class and teachers way very good. Talk real loud. <laughs> Okay. North right. Bay. All right, and what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth, okay. So, what's cool about this, I said it's Kristen Chisholm Williams. Now, the Chisholm family and my family go back, I don't know, 40, 50 years. I've known this family for so long, her, her aunts and uncles, her, her granddad, and I've been friends mm -hmm. for forever, and uh, Hewitt Chisholm, and they're just wonderful, wonderful people. I've, I've loved that Chisholm family forever, and we still get to see each other. And I had Kristen in Outdoor Ed. Yes, and yes. How did you like that class? I loved that class. <laughs> <laughs> and what's I loved cool it. now is she'll sort of carry it over, and she's got her kids uh, interested in outdoors. Y'all fish a lot. I know your we mom do. and dad, they fish all the time. They do. We showed pictures of you catching some with your. <laughs> with, yes, I caught fish. <laughs> so she's making fun of me. <laughs> Can your mom catch a fish? Can yes. she catch one? Yes, uh -huh. I do. <laughs> okay, so one thing you've started over at North Bay Haven Elementary and Bay Haven Elementary, mm -hmm. you have like a, a fishing club. Yes. Okay, and it, what was cool, uh, Mike McLaughlin, the principal who helped get it started. He did, yes. And I, I was so impressed with it, and I started uh, keeping up with it. I know several of our schools here have it. So let me show you. Here, they have a newsletter. I picked up the newsletter, and I'm just going to briefly talk about it. They do a leadership board, okay? elementary and even through the high school and they have they had the festival this past saturday and they have a anger of the month caroline williams that's pretty strong right there they're talking about catching a bull red spanish mackerel and look here and then the uh, slam caitlin paul got the slam fishing is bigger than just a hobby is that not true a great story here by north bay haven uh Hi, Angler Jameson Evans, written by his mom, and this this is just a great story. So, what what I, I love about this, the culture of that school is so vast and all. It includes fishing and outdoor activities. Yes, that's what we love about it as well, because we love the outdoors. So. Yeah. So it's been it's been a really really neat deal seeing this going. I've been keeping up with it. I want to get Kristen on because I. I, I've known her since she was small, and then what, what's your mayor now? Mom with three kids, and, mm -hmm. and you were in teaching for a little while, but then had to I get her help run the business. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, Caroline, we have all kind of pictures and all, so let's get started on our pictures. Tell me, uh, 
this one right here, okay? This picture showed up right here. What do we have? Who are, who are these people? Uh, my neighbor and me. Okay, who's the male anger? You're a female? Okay, are you a female? Yes. Anger of the year for 2023. And who's the, who's your buddy? That's Jameson. James. Okay, that's the Jameson kid right there. Mm -hmm. Look at those big smiles on their face. Yeah. And this was this past Saturday at the uh, Lynn Haven uh, Park, right? Yes. Okay, so these pictures will come It's like little wars. There's Michael McLaughlin, the principal who helped get things started. Look so, at all these winners here, all these medals. That, that's Nicholas in the front, my youngest. That's your the, son right there? That is. He, <laughs> so he had the largest redfish. They're happy, aren't they? They are. Okay. And then we have a, uh, this group right here. This is the parents and all. Oh, yes. And you can see Huey and uh, Who are Mr. Some of these people? Um, so that's my husband and his brother, Justin, and his parents. Um, and uh, then my dad and mom and my grandfather, Mr. McLaughlin, and, and Justin's, Susie? yep, Justin's girlfriend, okay. Miss Susie's on the left. And then those are my three kids in the front. Okay, that's a Chisholm fan. Let's see what Chisholm right there. Soon. There he is. Oh, there he is right there. You got him? Okay. Yeah. And uh, your, your parents and all. What? This is a family. This was a family affair right here doing yeah. all this, right? Yeah. Justin's a pretty good fisherman too, isn't he? He is. He <laughs> he has a charter business that yeah. he runs yeah, right cool. now. What's the name of the charter? It's Flatline Charters. Yeah, Flatline yes. Charters. Michael McLaughlin. Okay. Award winning right there. Y'all are... Did y'all get to eat anything or y'all just do the awards? We did hot dogs. They don't get any better than that. No. Okay. And that's uh, Justin's boat right there. Okay. So that's... Got, right, got the boat ride. Do you like that boat? Yes, I know sir. you do. Yes, sir. He does. And then, uh, okay, that was There's the There's all of picture. us again. Okay. Mm -hmm. And These. here's some of the boys. There's Nicholas getting his award. Okay, so so how do they... Uh, wait, go, wait, got a couple more, Jeff. Look here, I got... All right. Uh, that's the FWC officer FWC that joined there. us. Yes. That's cool. He did a great speech, too. He did give a good talk? Mm -hmm. He did. He gave a good talk. So look at the crowd there. Yes. This was Saturday morning? That was Saturday morning. Saturday morning. What a great way to spend a Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what kind of fish you have here? Uh, that was her trout, right? What, yeah, that was my trout. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> trout. <laughs> That was part of the slam tournament. So. Yeah. There's Justin again and my husband. Oh, did. that's great. Mm -hmm. All right. So that. So those are some good pictures. Mm -hmm. Exciting pictures. Okay, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back and talk about how they find a winner, how many points they get for this and that, and all kind of exciting things they do with this fishing club. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So here with Kristen okay. Williams and her daughter Caroline, a fishing family. And they do a lot of good stuff and all. And I, I enjoyed being around them a long time, the family a long time. So tell me what you're holding up, Caroline. Uh, Haven Fishing Club 2023 Female, Female Angler of the Year. Female Angler of the Year. Okay, is that a nice award right there? And yes. then around your neck, okay, I thought you'd been to the Olympics and all, all these gold <laughs> medals. <laughs> Tell me about the medals. Uh, so they're for the fish I caught. So like some of them say uh, champion redfish. Okay. So it was 42 inches. Okay. And then all different kinds of fish. Oh, so that was that's right, right there. That's I love how they do that Spanish mackerel. I mean they label each one what 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 gold medal is. And uh, bass. You catching bass too? You catching everything. What's your favorite kind of fishing? Uh, I know you like to catch Spanish mackerel because I've seen you catch Spanish mackerel. Might be redfish and bass. Okay. Okay. Kristen, what's your favorite kind? Um, I kind of like trolling. I like to be moving. Trolling, so yeah. probably the Spanish mackerel fishing. Is Tell us about. I know your mom and dad. They watch the show uh, every do. morning and want to give a big. So you want to say hello to them, your grandparents. Yeah. They're waving back, see them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know every year I, I, I talk to her at school and, and your mom, they are so looking forward to taking your vacation to the Florida Keys. We did, do. You did that every year, right? We do it every year, yes, sir. And you still do it? 
We do, yes. So yes. I, I know that it towed, it took the boat down there, right? It, we do, yes. Yeah. We take the boats down there. Uh, we snorkel. Uh, the kids have even snorkeled with sharks on Lou Key, which is a, a it's one of the top ten snorkeling spots in the world. It's wow. beautiful. It's a reef. Um, and then we also fish while we're down there, and we get dolphin and. Uh, I guess, is it snapper that dad likes to catch down there? <laughs> yeah, the yellow tail. That's what it is, the yellow tail. I, I, if I can remember, I seem like one year y'all had a flat tire or something. I, I don't, I uh, that like, happens often, I yes. Know, it's, a it's a long trip. It's a long trip. They on the yes. interstate and all that. People it is. I, I remember them talking about it. Uh, it's not. I, I, I asked your dad, I said, why don't y'all just rent a boat? He said, it's not as much fun. Take no, it. it's, it's not, not as much not fun. Mm -mm. Okay, so. Well, we have a, in fact, we have a picture right here of, of y'all in, in the Keys. Uh, okay, this one y'all down there trolling? That, yes, that one may actually be here. I think the next one was okay. us in the Keys. Let me see. There you go, yes. So okay. that was caught in the Keys. Okay. And those were caught in the Keys. Man, I know that was fun. It was. Ooh, look that at was in the Keys as well. That's Caroline. She found that snorkeling. Were you excited when you found that? Yes, sir. Did he jump out of water and start calling for your mom? <laughs> mom <No. look? laughs> okay. This uh, is what we're talking about. So this is what I was talking about. So this is Lou Key, and you, you know, you put your mask in the water, and it's almost like looking into a fish tank. I mean, it's yeah. just wild. Yeah. The, the water is so There's clear, and it's so beautiful. And that was a shark that came swimming up. That's Nicholas, my son, wow. in the water snorkeling. He was five at the time, and he thought it was so cool. He was not scared. <laughs> he wasn't scared. No. It's cool, Mom. Look. Uh -huh. My mom made me swim with an adult when they were sharks. I do make them swim with an adult when the shark. Coming. That's a good. That's a yes. Good, that's a good thing to do. Yes. I just jumping in the water. So that's my parents' new boat. They got a Parker, <laughs> and so uh, Nicholas is jumping off. Uh, that's him throwing a cast net. Learning to throw the net. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Five that's years old. Yeah. You remember doing that in class? You know, I remember knowing how to do it before I got you into your help. class. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And, and, and you have demonstrate. Yes, and, and my dad had taught me to put it in my mouth, I guess, I think, and I, uh, maybe yeah, that's, that's weird, I don't know, but I remember students, doing it. students, I didn't want to put it in their mouth because I didn't want to yeah. put it in their mouth because she how to do it the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way, and, yeah. Uh, so when she got cut, when we were doing a class, she was up there, who put it, put it in uh, their yeah. mouth? <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> I remember memory. that. <laughs> Y'all do other outdoor activities. Tell us about this one. Uh, that was me riding a horse. Whoa. I what? think that horse was named Turner. Turner. That's Turner. That's a pretty name. Look mm -hmm. at that form. She loves to ride horses too. Oh, cool. You know, we have to go fast every now and then. Oh, so, yeah. So <laughs> that was actually my husband's dirt bike when he was five. No way. It is. Oh, so how cool they is that? restored it and got it working again, and now the kids ride it. That so, is cool. Yes. Whoa. That That's her bass. winning bass. Look at that. That was, like, was it cold weather that day? You have on a jacket. Yeah, that it was, was super really cold. That was like a winter bath. Mm hmm. <laughs> now let's jump back to the summertime. Let's jump. Right? It's jumping you, off the boat. You love jumping off a boat? Yes, sir. <laughs> Jeez. So, now, this was like something you see on America's Funniest Video. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what we call pasture surfing. And so the kids will get on the board, and then Nicholas will ride them around. They'll ride each other or around. Or the can am. And sometimes they'll use the oh, can am. Oh, and once we were on the tractor, and Gramps tied the table to the tractor, we put chairs on the table, and we got to go. And they around. rode around behind Over the tractor. The <laughs> Is that cool or what? Do you enjoy that? Yes, sir. Do you get to Do you get to drive any? Yes, I have my own four, and kind of my own dirt bike. And then we have two canyons I'm allowed to drive. Then we have four tractors I'm allowed to drive. And then I get to walk sometimes. Really? <laughs> do, you, do you know how to drive a tractor? Can you? Yes, sir. Yes, you do? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay. Uh, so where's, where's your farm? Where are you located? Where you County go? Line Road. It's on County Line Road up to 31, so about 45 minutes from town. Okay. It was actually Nick's grandfather's. Oh, cool. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but he donated the sawmill to um, 
to St. Andrews State Park. So his name is actually okay, that on was him. there. That was him. Mm -hmm. so that was Randall old, Coatney is his okay. name. Okay. Uh, that was the old uh, timber company and all, all that land. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so he had bought a bunch of land up there. And there are no animals, but we call it our farmhouse. And the kids hunt and fish. That's oh. where that bass was caught. There's deer, bunny, fish, and Albert. And then there is an alligator uh, named Albert. Nubs. Oh. And then another that. alligator named Nub. Let's take our final break. We'll be right back with our guest. Okay, welcome back, folks. Glad you're with us this morning. First, let's take a look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. Our time, 2.48 to 4.48 this morning, and this afternoon, 3.14 to 5.14. It is a thrill for me to have some of my former students come on, and especially in this situation here where they're out, where they're doing so many outdoor things with the family, and then, where it's just, it's just, I mean, it just don't get better than that to me. So tell, tell folks, uh, what do you like about your school? Uh, there's a fishing club in it. A fishing club in it. Okay, and do you have some good teachers? Yes, I have the best teacher in the world. That's how you're supposed to look at it. Who's your teacher? Miss Sullivan. Miss Sullivan. Kristen okay. Sullivan. Yeah, I don't know her middle name. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sullivan, for being a teacher. Yes. Now, what about this summer? We got summer break. Come school almost out. What are you going to do this summer? Uh, I'm going to go fishing, and I'm going to go swimming, and I'm going to go mudding. And uh, fishing, swimming, mudding. Y'all got that? At this age, is that what you're supposed to do? Don't you wish y'all could do that this yeah. summer? <laughs> and jump off the docks. And jump off the docks. You got you got your priorities straight. Yes, <laughs> yes. But the uh, the big thing we're going to have uh, Principal McLaughlin come in maybe in the fall and talk about the fishing club yes. and all the different things. But they they sort of get points and offer of different. That's how they do it and everything. They do. And, Yes. They have the big awards at, at the end of the and year. And he has, when the kids catch the fish, he has us measure the fish, and then we take a picture of it and email it to him. And then he keeps the leaderboard live based on that. So I feel like he makes it easy and fun yeah. to be a part of it. It, it doesn't make it too yeah. complicated. So he does, okay, he does a, a good let's, job. Let's finish up on these pictures. Look at this one right here. Tell me about this one. That was after I went mudding with my brother. Okay. <laughs> And uh oh, I got it. this phone is a. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get back to it. Okay, we got it. now. Uh, yeah, matter of corporate this morning. Okay, but anyway, take up some time and tell me uh, what your favorite part about school is. Um, probably uh, in my best the in my teachers class, like anything in my teachers class. All right. All right, here we go. Back to the pictures. Here we go. Tell we got this. This is your birthday cake? Yes, sir. It's in camo. Yes. <laughs> is that not cool to watch? I love that. Yeah, oh. my neighbor made it. All right. Yes. Well, you have a, a good family there. That's, That's Nicholas. Your brother doing all kinds of stuff. Well, look at these those Spanish. Those are the Spanish, yeah. That's out there in the bay, isn't it? Yes. I believe I remember when y'all caught those. Yeah. Catching those Spanish. Oh, yes. not fishing. So that's Nicholas's redfish that he won His first was, place. I think uh, 30, 30. Was it 38? No, because mine was. Um, 40. Yeah, mine was 42, so his, I think, was uh, 38. 38, that's what I thought. Oh, cool. And that one, that's yours? Uh, yes, sir. So that's my middle. That's Charlotte. They caught that trout uh, last weekend. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that. That's a, a lot of pictures that proves that you are, you and your family do a lot of fishing. What's the, what's the fun part of fishing that you enjoy? Casting it out and reeling the fish in. Reeling it in. She, at two years old, she could cast a, uh, cast a fishing yeah. pole. And yeah. she could actually tell you how to do it. She <laughs> would say, all right, you flip the bale, hold the line, yeah, throw good. the pole. So she's been fishing her whole life. Kristen, as a mom, tell, tell us how, how important is outdoors to your family? It's so important. My husband, uh, he's a fisherman. Uh, I fished my whole life. We both are from here. Uh, he also hunts. Mm -hmm. um, but I love the quality time. I think too many kids are playing video games all weekend, and I just... I just don't want that for us. I want us outside. I want the kids learning life skills. I think they're just as important as the academics. Don't well, you? 
<laughs> yes, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> the machine I raised right, and, uh, and that's a good class at school. Uh, that's awesome. And that's what we try to you know, get this message across to all parents. And, and a lot of parents feel that way. Sometimes they don't uh, have time to carry it out or something like that. But you all made a point in your family to do these things yes. on the weekends and all. Every weekend, Every weekend. we're outdoors. Yeah, Every doing single something weekend. Outdoors. Yes. And uh, you, you see the result of it. Now, next year you'll be in the fifth grade. Yes, sir. And you'll still be in the fishing club, right? Yes, sir. Uh, can you be the repeat champion again? Do mm -hmm. you think you can win it again? Yeah, I could be everyone. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love that. Do, uh, do y'all like to eat fish? Do y'all eat some of them? I don't like fish. Don't she, like she does not like eating it, actually. That's okay. Yes, she just likes to catch it. Yeah. She likes shrimp. He likes yeah, shrimp. I like shrimp. But she does not eat the fish. That, that's cool. Isn't that funny? We do, though. I, I know your family does. We do, yes. I know. Uh, what's your favorite fish to eat? Um, probably grouper. Mine too. Yeah. Mine too. <laughs> Grouper's pretty good. You grill it or fry it or what do y'all do? We grill it. Yeah, we do too. Um, Nick will actually make pistachio crusted grouper. Whoa. It's so good. You gotta so send me good. that recipe. I'm I will. Gonna, I'll send it to I'm you. It's that. really, really good. Well, we're gonna have to start wrapping things up. Time flew by, didn't it? Anybody else you want to say hello to? Oh, my Uncle Justin and Miss Susie. <laughs> Her, his, her uncle Justin is the one that took her fishing. Okay, good job, Justin. Two times, yep. He's and a good all, fisherman. It's, it's, uh, that's a perfect case. We just spread the joy around. Uh, you know, uh, it's so much fun. Everybody doing it all. We're going to wrap it up, and uh, you're going to go to school. But it's the last week of school, so we're going to be happy about that, right? Okay. Yes. We appreciate y'all coming on. It's so good to see you. Thank again. you for having us. Thank you for hello to all the Chisholm us. family. I know Carol's yes. in Connecticut and up in Atlanta, Chris and all them. So. We love y'all. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank y'all for watching Pan Out Outdoors. We appreciate the viewership. Y'all do some good outdoor things. Enjoy the outdoors. Take care of the outdoors. And God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.